uh, head coaching look uh, for Ben Pierman, who's been so, so good. Over on the other side of the pitch, he'll be opposed by uh, Connor Casey, who is the head coach uh, of Charleston Battery. And we are underway. Kickoff here uh, on a beautiful night. Atten, uh, so successful in doing that. Segrist slides it up. Kiss you do. Over to Kelly. Kelly waiting for runners. Found one. Fernando cuts back. Kelly, good opportunity. Save made. Rebound. In the back of the net. Goal. Philip Goodrum. Who else? Philip Goodrum on the rebound. Shot. You know, Kelly started the move. Fernando, a very smart cutback. And JJ, you see the keeper just kind of spilled it. Yeah, difficult. Uh, the Jeremy Kelly almost chopped that ball. You saw it take an awkward bounce. And wow, just Philip Goodrum, right place, right time. The rebound just came right to him. He's almost like a magnet on that rebound there. And nice, easy tap in. That's exactly what Philip Goodrum wants to get his 18th goal of the season. And you see why the Charleston Battery defense has been scared to death of him in this match so far. And, and now headed on and another opportunity here down that right side, Fernando. Nice pass. Philip Goodrum making the run. And another goal. Just that quick. He's not done. He's not done. 2 0. You saw the combination play once again. Look at this pass here from Fernando. Just slips in Philip Goodrum. Nice, easy finish to the back post. He knows that's going in right away. He just slips it right past the keeper, Faro, there. And another celebration. Look, Faro, a decent angle he takes, but Philip Goodrum was never going to miss. I think you should have. So you think, I, yeah, well, I you, think you should own that. You, as I'll a, own it. As a, as a father of four, I think you should own that. Dad joke should be your, your thing. Now, Philip Goodrum on side, one on three, waiting for some help. Now link, links it up. What a dummy. Laura Kissiadu waits, waits, puts it back in the back of the net. Goal number three. 901 FC. What a fantastic goal that was from 901 FC, and welcome back. Hey, look at Goodrum laying it off, and Kelly with the dummy, and then some work to do for Kissyadu, but takes two players right out of it with that cutback to his right, and then boom, left side, down low, perfect strike, and you see Thoreau, the keeper, just holds his hands up and says, "What? What? What am I supposed to do with that?" The answer is nothing. That combination of Goodrum and Jeremy Kelly and Laurent Casillo, do you see the big celebration? Really, they're out of playoff contention. They don't have much going for them in the season. You're supposed to put them down and put them down early, and that's exactly what 901 FC have done the past couple of matches. Another foul there, and things again starting to get a little chippy. Oh, that's yeah, a red that's card. That's got to be a straight red Yeah, that's red a straight right red. Sequence here. Kissidou comes up as a problem. 901 FC showing a little more initiative. Getting into a dangerous area. Here's Goodrum. Fires one. Save made. Rebound available. Tipped away. Kiss you, dude. Trying to get there. Can't quite do it. Now the keeper down, and they will stop play. Even if it's not in Charleston, you know, other clubs are watching as well. Other teams are scouting this match, and these Charleston players are at least trying to, to save a little bit of face here. Outswinging ball. Still in danger. Cleared and... Oof, goodness gracious. Yellow card coming in. Can, yeah. Cicero. You know, not a lot in that, honestly. Like, well, that's, you, you know. Cicero, not, no real opportunity to get to that ball. He knew what he was doing. He ducked his head down. Uh, you know, I, don't, I won't say that he was trying to take out Trey Muse, but it's just kind of generally understood. One of those unwritten rules where you don't have to go. Connor Casey, the head coach for the Charleston Battery, I think you got to take this player out of the match. You know, there, uh, what more does he have to gain? Is, well, uh, and <laughs> doesn't help well, when you're going to take himself out of the match. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, it's not going to be Connor Casey that's going to do it. You're right about uh, you know, Philip Goodrum. He's going to be you know, great chance. It's going to fall here. Opportunity for Kelly. Kelly off the post. Rebound from Goodrum, who couldn't quite put down to nine men. Charleston trying to find something. And now Goodrum, uh-oh. Uh oh, wow. that's got to be another How card, that be? and that's his. Yeah, that's, that's his second that's yellow. That's his second yellow. He's out. <laughs> Peter, I knew something else was going to happen in this match. You see right here, Goodrum turns him and then yanks the jersey. I mean, that's just a that's as an obvious a yellow and potentially a red as it gets. Since Malloy is on the 
bench now. Buana dinks it over to Leston Paul. Leston Paul looking for the angle. Has a host of players on that far side. And it's Zach Carroll who puts it in for goal number four. They were lined up. But also back onto the score sheet, as you saw a lovely ball clipped into the back post for Zach Carroll. What a finish that was. In the midfield and in the, uh, the final third, just running out of personnel. Turchi powers through, great save. A more measured finish to the match. Good little ball in, though. Opportunity. Oh, what a strike off the crossbar. Tipped onto the crossbar. Look at this first strike. Yep, oh, he gets yeah. a fingertip to it. What a save. Phenomenal save from Faro and a phenomenal strike as well from Juana, who just unleashes that thing. You saw the dip on it as yep. well. Yep. Good ball released out. Now a chance just wide, Segrist. Will there be another goal, though, Peter? I don't think so. Uh, I hope so. I'm pulling for it, but I don't think so. The most merciful style. Well, I say that in night pickering. <laughs> okay. All right. Night pickering. The young man who is, he only scores spectacular ones. All extraordinaire. Just a lovely ball from Segris and just a classy header flicked into the just really wide open mm, opportunities. Full chances, chances yeah. inside the six yard box that they just haven't been able to, to, to take advantage of. So that's certainly something for Ben Pyramid to watch in the future as we have the game. Yeah, right on the four minute mark. That's that final score.